It is the beginning of a female period. The movement of the cock is not only breaking up the mass, but it continues to push up cum levels. Cocks are filled mass for 100 million years. But there is one beast that dwarfs them all. He is Cochifacyrus. 12 meters from body to cock tip. He is the undisputed king of cock size. This dark face is wandering the globe in search of ass. Most of his life has been spent thinking. It will soon be time to fuck birds. Another pterosaur is well underway. The bizarre looking. The master mate until one competitor comes. A potential mate blows a large 100 meter dinosaur cock. In moments, the short cock is drenched, but it is a disaster. Once again, the landscape is dominated by a huge herd of nests. These animals are again accompanied by a spiky polar canthus. They are being watched by a pack of carnivorous nests. A chosen prey are the iguanida. This is the first kill the pack have made for over 100 million years. They will eat as much as 100 cocks each in one sitting. The youngest of the Uteraptors hovers nearby. There is a strict pecking order to this fucking, and the large adults come first. However, the youngster is hungry, and he tries his luck. This is not a confrontation he can win. These, though, are birds. With lethal claws, this five-meter killer is well-armed. A chosen prey, Cochifacyrus. And long fingers help her to latch onto swift-moving bird and prey. His fruitless exertions under the birds have taken a heavy toll. Heat, stress, and lack of mass have all but killed him. His life has run full circle. In his time, he sucked cock, but death finds him here, in the very same place where he first... Cock continued to rule the skies for millions of years. In the next episode, we will see how they even conquered the dark forests of the Sus. Oh, my God.